yeah, over yeah. on the Netflix. Yeah, that's pretty good. Only downside, I guess, is that you get. I I would have felt really bad if I got to the end of that without knowing there was a second season coming, because it ends and it's goes. The most. Now we're off to go do the plot. Oh, because we didn't do shit today. The voice actors are just some new folks. Or? No, I don't um, recognize them. Uh, the guy that plays Trevor uh, Belmont. Oh, is... Did you not see it? No. Oh, it's great. You should watch yeah, it. Yeah, no, I know. No, he was talking about he's going to have plans. The guy that plays Trevor Belmont is the um, played Thorn Oakenshield in the um, Hobbit movies, like so the main battle okay. dwarf. But like Ro- other shit. Robbie Belgrade is isn't fucking coming in for uh, Alucard, I imagine. I think. Because if so, that'd be great. There's a real, there's a real um, sense of pacing to this. Of we only have four episodes, so there's no reason to hurry this stuff along. Mm. So, like, first episode one, Dracula introduced. Episode one, five minutes later, good reason for Dracula to be mad. Episode one, yeah, ten minutes it is in, a good reason, right? Ten minutes in, Castlevania start now. Like, just absolutely no waste of time mm. of, at any point. Um, um, Dracula is played by Graham McTavish, who played Dante in Dante's Inferno game. And he was also that super badass, pissed off British soldier in Rambo 4. The one that was, like, just swearing like a yeah. sailor and was bald. He's well, that, cool he guy. definitely plays that up in this. Yeah. Uh, animation quality is great. Voice acting was great. Uh, the best thing Konami ever does now is let other people use the stuff. That use their license. Like. Yeah. Um, and it's very clear that people who made this really care a lot about, at the very least, Castlevania 3. Because all the little details. Like, there's a there's a throwaway two-second shot of, I have to throw something to cut this rope. You know, the same action thing that you see in every time. Mm. And guy happens to steal a hand axe from somebody and throws it. And the arc is bizarre. The arc is nonsense, but it's because accurate. it's a Belmont throwing the axe, Perfect. like it, Perfect. you know. Yeah, and yeah. it's just this two two second little shot. It yeah. means nothing in the grand. And most people go, "Oh, the axe moved weird," mm-hmm. but no, it actually moved in a really bizarre sideways parabola. That because, it's supposed to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great. But yeah, no, the end of that. Does anyone hold a whip out and just start spinning it? As if the damage yes. from the whip would do anything? Yes. Oh, awesome. Okay, cool. Um, but uh, the end of that first season is straight up, okay, gang, let's go get Dracula in the and next season. Please talk about this on social media so we can get a second season. Is there a hashtag that automatically it fills out? It fucking feels like it, man. <laughs> 1300. The all of you. Like Netflix supported. automatically links up to your Twitter and just goes, tweet, tweet out the hashtag? But, but it especially seems weird because it's only four episodes you know like that's yeah. it's it feels even stranger when they it's, just kind of stop yeah if it was like 12 episodes it's a and you have like season. a whole what it's a, it's a british season no it is a it is a See, test yeah it's a test it is a test for sure because like the 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 the, the first four episodes deal with absolutely nothing that you that's all set you, up. they don't all go to it's castlevania all, it's, all, it's all set up it's all set up. Right? Right. They, yeah right yeah the country of castlevania <laughs> right right um, and there's like I want to actually talk a little bit about more in detail because there's a lot of, but because I assumed everybody saw it, but uh, there's a lot of little details in that that there's a lot of little speeches by characters that yeah. are better than they should be. Okay. In particular, Matt, you watched it, right? Yeah, I watched it when the, it came out. The the speech be- between the uh, monster and the dude in the church. I, I, yeah, I don't care about Castlevania spoilers. Okay. Personally, but... there, there, is, there is, like, the, one of the weirder things is, like, okay, this takes place in the Renaissance, uh, sorry, in the Middle Ages, right? Yeah. It has to, mm-hmm. right? Dracula is real. Supernatural shit is real. The, the the church has to be a part of it because holy water and consecrated whips and and crosses, yeah. right? It's a big deal. But they also were shit asses at the time and are somewhat villainous and what so how do you actually like fix those two things at the same time? If that character's a villain and he's a cardinal then how can the cross hurt Dracula? Right. right? And the answer is because he's a bad person and it doesn't work. Because he's a bad person, all this shit doesn't work. But that random NPC that's just a priest who has a heart of gold, he can make holy water no problem. Uh, yeah, yeah, like perfect, and just yeah. okay, solved. That's how we can have a, just a bunch of shitty human characters. Cool. Um, yeah, it's great. 
It's it's fucking fantastic. I'm very excited for second season. I like this new trend called Japanimation. I think it yeah. can go places. Goes, goes oh, pretty far. That's 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 the thing. Is the demon comes into a church and he goes, "You can't come in here. There's a house of God." And he goes, "God's not here." <laughs> yeah. And it's like what? It's like God left you because you're a bad person, so we can come in. It's like okay, that's all the. All the little thing, and then you know. And okay. when you're not a bad person, you can do that crazy henshin shit where Simon floats in the air and crosses, just surrounds. No, Richter's it Richter? the one who learned. Richter how to do does that. that. Never mind. Okay. Richter learned how to do that. And like you, two and years like, later, you can do what with Grand Faith? Cross, man. Faith can do what? Yeah, that shit's nuts. It's I really <laughs> remind me to go back to church. When did Jesus teach that shit? Maybe, maybe nah, this is just me, Jesus but I, I'm certain vampires. other people will appreciate it. But you have your your vampire hunter of that era, mm-hmm. and I or your Helsing or whatever. And I love the idea of that character not being religious and not caring about the church. Mm-hmm. But they're like, but crosses work though. Mm-hmm. Holy water is it burn. They don't like it. Oh no, I don't go to church. But this this symbol on my whip stab it better. But if I don't have faith. <laughs> It's no, works. it's not even. It's not even. Okay. It's not even about faith. It's, it's the guy that start that made it. It's no. It's yeah. I think like the whip is consecrated by a different person or whatever. Yeah. Like, so like, if you're a good person and I'm a shit ass and you make it, but I then use it. Yeah. It'll still it'll work. still work. Yeah. Okay. Well, because yeah, right. it's a physical item that was given. Well, because like the idea is that right. a cardinal or a bishop is supposed to bless the them personally, yeah. the area around them. But if they're a shit ass, then the blessing don't work. It's the same thing we were talking about like three weeks ago. With the fucking, but with you the, see it actually, and you see the yeah. failure points with the with the um the the fire hydrants. Probably the weirdest thing about watching that is there are a shit ton of assholes that look just like me. In that, a bunch of bald, redheaded guys with beards are massive dickheads in that fucking show, and they get it. The guy who looks the most like me gets it so bad. Mm. <laughs> And it's like, ah, ah, ah. It's uncomfortable to see. I don't like it. I'm not a fan. Cool. But yeah, you should, you should, you should watch that. Uh, let's take a quick word from our sponsors. 